What's up guys, JV2017 here and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. This time we're continuing my unique weapon guide series and just a quick reminder guys, this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content here on YouTube so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Railway Rifle, which is a really unique type of weapon returning from Fallout 3, but it's important to note that it's much more powerful this time around. And this weapon pretty much works the same way as it did before. You shoot railway spikes, which is really cool, and you can actually pin enemy body parts to walls, most notably when you get a headshot. It's a pretty cool kind of effect. So keep in mind there are multiple copies of this weapon out in the world, out in the game. So it really doesn't fall under the classic definition of a unique weapon. You know, when you pick it up, it doesn't make that noise like a legendary weapon, but it is undoubtedly a unique type of weapon and it's actually very easy to obtain. It's so easy that it'll take you less than five minutes. The location that I'm showing you is south of a place called Bedford Station and it's kind of a railroad crossing and it is very close to Concord where you start out in the game. So like I said, you can get this. If you haven't even you know, discovered this area, you can walk or run from Concord and get here probably in about five minutes. But once you're in this location, it's gonna be located a little bit south of the actual location on the map in this blue train car and it's literally just sitting for you in this corner. And like I said, I just think this is one of the easiest ways to actually obtain this weapon. And don't forget to pick up the railway spikes that are on the ground. I believe there's only eight, so not a lot. And then you'll find some already on the weapon itself. So let's take a look at the railway rifle. Again, it doesn't pop up because it's not an official unique weapon, but it is, like I said, a unique type of weapon. So you're going to find this weapon. It uses railway spikes as ammunition, of course, and you're probably going to find it at around 100 damage. The reason you see 241 damage on my screen, which looks ridiculous, is because I have the Rifleman perk. This is a rifle, so it's affected by that, and I've got the top rank of it, which doubles damage. That's why you're seeing so much ridiculous damage on my weapon, plus a little bit from Bloody Mess. There's actually a solid selection of modding options on the railway rifle. My suggestions are first to keep the standard receiver, especially if you've got the Rifleman perk. If you put it on automatic, you lose that damage bonus, and it's very obvious, you can see on my screen. And also, I wouldn't recommend using this weapon automatic at all. Number one, I don't like automatic weapons. And number two, ammo is scarce. We'll talk about that in a second, so it doesn't make sense to make this automatic, in my opinion. Next, I would put on long barrel, obviously, to increase the range, and then recoil compensating stock to increase that accuracy. These are pretty much standard things. Also, you could put on a scope. I went ahead and splurged and put on a recon scope on mine. That's not necessary, but uh, it's kind of nice to have a scope on this weapon as well. Let's talk about ammo, because I briefly mentioned that it's scarce in the game. It's actually really rare. It's extremely rare to find railway spikes just on the ground in the wasteland. So another location to actually find this weapon and more ammo is at Big Jim Salvage, which is a location just south of downtown Boston near the center, kind of a little bit east in the map. And that's another location to find ammunition, but also vendors will carry a very small amount of ammo as well. As you'll see on the screen, I'm going to two vendors in Diamond City right next to each other, and they combine for 23 rounds of railway spikes. This is some very scarce ammo, and you're not gonna find a lot. You can't craft any of the ammo. And some other observations that I had is you're not always going to be able to retrieve the ammo from an enemy. So that was kind of a thing in you know, Fallout 3. If you use the railway rifle, you would shoot it and then you'd be able to retrieve the bullet or you know, the projectile from that enemy, off, you know, from their inventory. And I found that that happened maybe like 25% of the time. It was a really bad ratio. And when I was fighting robots in particular, I would not find my railway spikes on any of them. None of them like actually return that ammo, that uh, projectile. I'm not sure if that's a glitch, but keep in mind, it's probably not a great idea to use this weapon against robot enemies. Another quick observation is that you probably don't wanna free aim this weapon at all. Again, ammo is scarce, so if you miss, you're losing out on ammo and you're losing out on that chance to actually retrieve it from the enemy, however low that chance actually is. So I would recommend using VATs with this weapon. And it's really cool to get headshots and kind of pin heads on walls. I actually wasn't able to do it. I was playing around with this weapon for quite a long time until I ran out of ammo and it's actually hard to do. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe my experience will be different from you guys. With all that being said, I'd like to know, will you go and get this weapon after you 
you've seen this video and how would you rate this weapon? It's one of those unique weapons. I think it's, again, kind of like the freefall armor, more of a novelty item. It's very cool, it makes a cool noise when you shoot it, like a train whistle. Uh, so it's kind of cool like that. And also suggest a new weapon for me to cover in an upcoming video. Share all of that in the comment section below. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the railway rifle in Fallout 4. And next time we'll cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And remember that this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for continued unique weapon guides, some special character build videos, and general tips and tricks. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.